Hey guys, Buffin Gaming back bringing you another video and today we're going to be covering the blueprints, weapons, and attachments that I would like to see in Season 2 and even going forward into Season 3, 4, and beyond. So what I'm going to do is go through first some blueprints that I would really like to see as far as completely almost reskinning the weapon and being in major cosmetic changes to the weapons themselves. Then I'm going to go over attachments and weapons that I would like to see added. So for the attachments, if you add a few attachments to weapons, we can make a multitude of different weapons just based on a specific a few attachments per gun. And then also just some new weapons that I would like to see and some that are con almost all but confirmed and I think we're going to be seeing them here in Season 2 as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And first up, the one that you've probably heard me talk about if you've been watching the latest videos is the Alpha AK-47 which is an FSB version of the AK-47 that the Alpha Guru Spetsnaz teams use. And what this is, I found this first in a, and I'll try and link this below if I remember, I found this in a Larry Vickers video. So if you don't know Larry Vickers, check him out on YouTube. He's a uh, former Green Beret, I believe he is, and he reviews a lot of weapons, goes in depth with a lot of these things. And he had a video on the Alpha AK after he was over there doing some drills with the Spetsnaz in Russia. And a lot of these guys were using these essentially modernized uh, versions of the AK-47, AK-74s. So what he goes into, well, this would be, I'll show you these on screen, is essentially it's a very, like I said, a very modernized version of the AK-47. So this could be a blueprint to cosmetically change the AK-47. And I did tweet this, and Joel Emsley actually did like it and reply. So what I basically said is operator pack idea, and we could call it something like Spetsnaz Operator. And you could have a modern tactical Spetsnaz skin for one of the Spetsnaz operators, such as Minotaur or Bale or Rodan. The weapon could be a modernized FSB Alpha AK-47 slash AK-74 blueprint and Spetsnaz knife, charms included with the tier skip, etc. So I posted some photos on that with the tweet itself of the weapon and just one of the character models that I thought could make a cool skin for the operator himself. And Joel Emsley, the art director at Infinity Ward, did actually end up liking this and replying saying very cool so maybe this is something we'll see but essentially what this would be for a reskin is the caliber and everything would be the same so you could either run this in 762 millimeter or 545 by 39 the barrel would cosmetically need to change to match more of a 12.4 inch barrel and the russian made zenit rail system so the handguard on this would be different you can see in the photos it's a different handguard and the barrel itself would be different. So they could do this without adding the attachment for a different size barrel being that 12.4. If you look at the M4 with the XRK or even the zip tie blueprint was we covered that LVOA C type blueprint that they released with that, it really does extend the barrel beyond the 14 and a half inch that that barrel slot is. It makes it more of a 19 inch barrel. So that's something they could cosmetically change to shorten that barrel and make it look more of a 12.4 inch. And again, change the handguard to a Zenit rail. Now the muzzle, they would just throw cosmetically, maybe change what the flash suppressor looks like, and that would be a Bulgarian four-piece crank flash suppressor, and it's more of a big, fat-looking fat flash suppressor on the end of the weapon that gives it a nice aesthetic look to the weapon. The laser PAQ-15, or even maybe something like a Wilson Raptor light would go on this, just a big, fat tack laser, essentially, um, could fit on the top rail on that, on that Zenit rail, or on the left or right side. I think that'd be pretty neat looking, and... The stock would be a SRVV tinning side folding stock so the, or a Magpul CTR. So this would be, again, something similar to what you see on a lot of the M4s, that more modernized Magpul type buttstock. The underbarrel, we could have an operator foregrip on there and really no cosmetic change needed to that. It kind of looks similar to what you see on a lot of these FSB builds. And a site could be a, just an Aimpoint, Red Dot, APX5, the Monocle, some any of those Russian sites I think would work really well. So. Overall length for this would be 24 to 32 inches. Uh, the charging handle cosmetically would change as well with this blueprint. It'd be a Zenit RP1 charger handle, which again is kind of like a fat circular charger handle to allow the operator to get a hold of it better, get a good grip, and pull that charging handle back. And then the dust cover itself would need to be have a rail on it, so something like a Texas Weapon System dust cover, which has that Picatinny rail on top instead of the dove leaf attachment we see on the current AK-47s in the game. We just have a dove leaf attachment, which gives you that rail system so you can put a sight not on the gas block, but on the rail, above the rail itself. So 
that would be a change needed. Obviously, this would be a stamped receiver instead of milled, and we would have a rib dust cover. Well, we wouldn't have a rib dust cover. We have the Texas weapon system with the Picatinny rail on top. That would be how to make this a more modernized AK. And you can see those photos on screen, just a beautiful looking weapon. So that's the one that I really like to see. And since uh, Joel Emsley did reply to that, maybe that's something we'll see going forward. I think there's a lot of pieces in the game for that. And we know they're going to allow you to swap out cosmetic attachments with a lot of these blueprints. So maybe it'll be something we can we can edit ourselves and they'll give us the handguard and the pieces to do it. So that would be cool to see. Also, the next up, I, another AK-47, what I really li would like to see, very similar actually, I would take either of these, is a actual AK-12 blueprint in the game. Because what we have, we covered these in the conversion series, and the AK-12 really is being that steel curtain blueprint. It's really a modernized AKM. And then when we put those 545 by 39 ammo rounds on there, it's going to change it to more of a AK-74M. So it's kind of a mix as we covered in all these AK videos that we've done. So I'd really like to see an actual AK-12 blueprint in the game. And again, that's going to be very similar to what I, everything I just described with the FSB Alpha AK-47. So I think that would be nice to see in the game as well. Now, whether or not they need to do a whole new weapon for that, because it might handle differently with the rate of fire, etc. But I think we can get away with a blueprint, so we're not adding a bunch of weapons that they need to test in. We're seeing two weapons per season, so I think that would be another option there. And the AK-12, again, is the newest variation of the Kalashnikov rifle. So we have the AK-12, the AK-15, which is a 7.62 variant. Then there's also the... AKU-12 and the AKU-15s, which are essentially the modernized versions of the AKS-74Us. So those are all based on the AK-12 platform. Um, and that's really that's really all I have for the AKs. Now, moving on, another blueprint that I'd like to see, this would be a major cosmetic change to the Holger 26. So we covered the Holger 26. It's really, at, in IRL, it's a MG-36. So we would be taking this from the G-36 assault rifle conversion that we covered so you can turn that the Holger 26 into the G36 assault rifle just by swapping on that 556 magazine for the conversion there then you have a G36 assault rifle and you can also make the G36C and the G36KA4 based on the barrel lengths that you throw on there so what this would be is essentially a reskin of the G36 to make it into an XM8 so if you're not familiar with the XM8 this was a project to replace the M4s and M16s back in the late 90s, early 2000s. It was canceled, I believe, in autumn of 2005-ish in there um, due to mainly political reasons. But essentially what this is is a uh, high level. Uh, it is a G36. The internal parts, the gas block, and a lot of the internal parts are very, very similar. And they're different, slightly different size, but really at base, if we're looking at this not too in-depth, it's the same thing as a G36 with a different cosmetic look to it so instead of adding an xm8 which i don't think they would ever do because we've never seen it in call of duty i think it'd be cool if we had a reskin to turn the g36 into the xm8 assault rifle and so you can see that weapon is a very odd looking weapon but oddly enough it performed very very well this is an h and k design weapon it performed very well there was some tests in 2005 they did a dust test and the xm8 outperformed the SCAR, the M4s, the M16s, and all the other rifles in the program as far as jams go. So it had, I think, 206 total jams, where something like the M4 had 800-something jams in the dust test. So it did perform the best there, and it was unfortunately canceled. But it's a very cool-looking weapon. I think that would be pretty neat to see a reskin of the G36 to make it into an XM8 assault rifle because internally it's really the same, and we could just do a reskin of the outer portion of the rifle to turn it into that. So I think that'd be something cool to see. I'd like to see that going forward. And another one that i like to see as far as going into some new weapons here, we'll cover quickly. So some new weapons, I would really like to see a HK416 A5 or an M416. And the cool thing here is you can make, if we have the right attachments, we can make three different weapons and multiple different variations of these weapons by adding one of these. So we have the HK416A5, which is the 5.56 assault rifle. We have the HK417, which is the 7.62 battle rifle. And a lot of you may remember this from Call of Duty Ghosts, I believe it was, is the MR28 battle rifle. And then we could also make an M27IAR, which is the 
556, essentially the replacement for the M249 squad automatic weapon. So by adding one of these weapons in the game and the right attachments, we can make a multitude of these. So first off, I would say, since we have enough assault rifles, I would really like them to add the HK417 battle rifle. And again, that's 762 by 51 millimeter. They could add this with a 20 round box mag at single fire. And I think it'd be cool if they had a perk to turn this into full auto. And that way you could have a similar rate of fire as the SCAR. And we could turn this into an assault rifle for the, we could turn it into the HK417 Assaulter by adding a 13 inch barrel to this. So that would be the carbine with a 13 inch barrel. There's also the 417A2 Recon, which would have a 16.5 inch barrel. And then the HK417 Sniper, which is a 20 inch barrel on it. So those are the different variants of that. Now, if we had a 5.56 attachment for this, we could turn it into the HK 416A5 because it is essentially the same rifle firing different rounds with some minor changes there. So, being that 5.56 conversion, we could turn this into an HK 416A5 firing the 5.56. We could also, with a 9 inch barrel, turn this into an HK 416C for the compact variant. And then, if we had the right barrel size with a 16.5 inch, which we would have with the AK, or I'm sorry, with the HK417 Recon, and so we slapped the 5.56 rounds on there, and now we have an M27 IAR firing the 5.56 by 45, and that's again a 16.5 inch barrel. So, by adding the HK417, you have three different weapons you can make. So you have the 417 into the 5.56 conversions at base with a 7.62. And have a perk on there to turn that into full auto and you have three weapons with about five or six different variants of those weapons total so you can make a lot of weapons out of those alone next up would be the hk433 conversion so with this particular weapon we've covered this a lot in the favorite weapon series that i've been doing lately and i've been using this a lot online specifically and i'm really in love with the the hk433 so in game this is the kilo 141 and what this is obviously is the new G30, excuse me, the new HK assault rifle. So this is essentially a combination of the HK416 and the G36 assault rifle into one. So this is really kind of the future of the German military replacing the G36 rifles, and it's probably going to be being adopted across the world as well. Very, very well performing rifle, and in game, it's I think one of the best, right next to the M4. So what we can do with this, obviously, the kilo has probably some of the most attachments right next to the M4 as builds you can make and the multitude of attachments. So at base, as far as the 5.56, we have the base 30 round mag, then we have a 50 stenag mag, 60 stenag mag, and a 100 round C mag. So if we had a 7.62 by 51 conversion on this, so we give us different rounds to turn this into a 7.62, then we can make the HK 231 which is a new a, di a different variant of this rifle obviously just firing the 7.62 millimeter rounds and then if you were to add the 300 blackout rounds to this we could have the hk 437 and then in addition to that if they added the 7.62 by 39 which are those russian rounds we would have an hk 123 so those are all planned variants of this weapon and by doing that we could also replicate what would we can safely assume would be essentially an hk 231 IAR or an HK 231 version of the 417 the HK 417 since these are essentially built off the same or it's a combination of the 416 and the G36 so we would be able to make a, a lot of different versions of those weapons as well just by adding I think one of those attachments is fair it already has three different ammo conversions as far as different size magazines so if they were to add the 7.62 by 51 for the HK231, we could have a lot of fun with that. We already have the right barrel sizes, and we could make essentially the battle rifle variant as well as even more machine gun variants. So I think it'd be a really nice addition to the HK433 and giving it even maybe more distinguishing features from the M4 in game. Next is a rifle that's basically confirmed. I know we've seen a lot of rumors and leaks on this is the Chris Vector. So this is a Series of series are a family of weapons based on parent submachine gun design by the American company Chris USA, formerly Transformational Defense Industries was the company name. So what this is, we've all seen this from Modern Warfare 2, and I don't remember if it was in Modern Warfare 3, but a very unique looking submachine gun 
fires the 45 ACP rounds. In real life, it also can convert to a 9 by 19 parabellum rounds, 10 millimeter auto, and a 357 SIG. So, obviously, in game, they would add this as a 45 ACP, as we saw in Modern Warfare 2. And different attachment that you could do with this is barrel length. So, we had a, I think at base, it comes with a 5.5 inch, most likely, is what they would do with it. So, that'd be the short barrel rifle variant. And they could also do a 6.5 inch. And then a 16 inch would be the. 16 through 18 inch would be a CRB variant of the Vector. So I think very high rate of fire. We need a 45 ACP submachine gun in the game. So it'd be really cool to see that. I think, again, that's basically all but confirmed. It's been leaked a little bit. So I think we will be seeing that in Season 2. Next up is the HK UMP 45. So again, this was another rifle submachine gun in Modern Warfare 2 and MW3 that, that also fires the 45 ACP rounds. With an 8 inch barrel this is i think one of my everybody's favorite submachine guns in call of duty for the most part very aesthetically pleasing really well performing rifles but especially in modern warfare 2 and it'd be really neat to see that now a lot of the guys that pre played the game way back i think in may last year um, when they got their hands on the first builds of the game they said that there was a ump 45 in the game supposedly unless they were mistaking that with another weapon so i think at the very least it was probably created and maybe they pulled it but i think it would be really cool to see the ump return in this game as well next up a new weapon would be the m249 saw obviously this is the squad automatic weapon 556 by 51 nato rounds so we saw this in modern warfare 4 caught or mastered and i believe it was in modern warfare 2 as well i can't remember but i, I played with this the most in cod 4 modern warfare remastered very high rate of fire light machine gun the M249 saw, I think everybody recognizes that one. And very, very well performing light machine gun in Call of Duty. So I'd really like to see that one return as well. It's one of my favorite light machine guns in video game history, probably. I remember when that when I first got my hands on that in COD 4 way back in 2007, 2008, uh, I was really excited to finally like play with that on a next gen console at the time. So I'd really like to see the M249 saw return. I'd also like to see the M60E6. So we did see an M60 in COD 4 as well. So that's a 7.62 millimeter NATO round light machine gun. It's a heavier machine gun than the saw. Fires those larger caliber rounds. And again, that was in Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare COD 4, as well as Modern Warfare 3. And I don't think it was in MW2. I think it was replaced by the M240 Bravo in that particular game. But I'd really like to see the M60 E6 make a return. It has that distinguishing fire rate, fire sound, and nicknamed the pig for the reasons to how it sounds when it fires. Uh, slower rate of fire, but again, that 7.62 millimeter rounds definitely pack a punch, and I'd really like to get my hands on that bad boy again. Next would be the MPX. So this is the submachine gun variant of the the Sig Virtus that we see in game, which the Sig Virtus or the M13 is based off of more modernized assault rifle variant of the MPX. So they could do this as a blueprint. It's really a different weapon. They could do it as a blueprint though, or add the nine millimeter attachments to this to this particular weapon then we could have an mpx submachine gun um, i think really they could do it either way add it in game as a new weapon or give us a blueprint that would aesthetically or cosmetically change it to look like the mpx more so than the mcx sig virtus and then we would have the mpx sig nine millimeter assault rifle or nine millimeter submachine gun excuse me so i know that would be one that everyone's been talking about that'd be nice to see I'd also like to see the MTAR 21 or the MTAR X. So this we have a we were able to make an MTAR in the game firing 556, but I really like to see the 9 mm attachments. And supposedly, from what I'm hearing, this is actually in gunfight. There is a Ram 7, which with those short barrels that fires a 9 mm attachment. So I'd really like to see that attachment unlocked so we can make the submachine gun variant of the TAR 21, the MTAR 21. So that'd be a nice addition to the game. I believe that was in Call of Duty Ghosts as well as the MTAR X. And I know I played with it back in Battlefield 3 and 4 as the MTAR 21 as well. Really well performing rifle. And I think that's one attachment that we can make an additional build out of the Ram 7. So that's all I have on this list. Those are the particular builds that I want to see for blueprints, attachments, and new weapons in Season 2 and going forward in the further seasons. I think it'd be really cool to see these weapons. Let me know what you guys think of what I talked about here. 
Just to sum things up, we have the Alpha FSB AK-47, the modernized version of the AK-74M. We also have an AK-12 would be a blueprint. We have the blueprint for the G36, making it the XM-8. For some new weapons, I, I suggest we add the HK-417 battle rifle. We're firing that 7.62 by 51 millimeter with a 20 round box mag, and we could convert that with the red attachments being the 5.56 into an HK416, as well as an M27 IAR. Then also for the HK433, I'd like to see the 7.62 by 51 rounds added to that weapon so we can make the HK231, and we can make different variants as far as battle rifles out of that as well if we have that attachment. The HK UMP45, the Chris Vector, which is from Modern Warfare 2 as well, M249 Saw, MPX from SIG, the 9mm attachment or a blueprint, or maybe even a new weapon, and then the 9mm attachment for the MTAR, the Ram 7, allowing us to make the MTAR X from COD Ghost. One more that I'll mention is the 5.56 rounds to the SCAR H. So if we add 5.56 rounds to that weapon, we can make the Mark 16 which is the Scar Light, and I believe that was in previous Call of Duty as well. I want to say Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, but don't quote me on that. I don't remember. I know there's been a mix of Scar Lights and Scar Heavies in the games. So if we have the 5.56 attachment, we can make it into the Mark 16 or the Scar Light, and we can also make the Mark 16 CQB variant with that short barrel attachment that we did with the Mark 17 CQC build that I did for the weapon conversions as well. So... One attachment there, being the 5.56, we can make the Scar Light, as well as the Mark 16 CQB. So I think that would be another one there too. So those are, I think, a total of 10 or 11 ones that we just covered. Let me know below what you guys think, blueprints that you would like to see going forward in the game to cosmetically change weapons. I know so far a lot of the blueprints are minor changes to weapons as far as camos and stuff like that. I'd really like to see drastic reskins of weapons. Um, making them more tactical. I think it'd be also really cool if they threw on like flashlights and just some very tactical looking builds Even if those attachments don't do anything I'd really like to be able to tack out my weapon and make this thing just look as tactical as possible It's something I'd really like to see in the game. Maybe something like Tarkov level of uh, <laughs> Attachment options, but I doubt we'll get that far, but it would be cool to have I know in Modern Warfare Remastered They did something similar where they had a lot of uh, essentially blueprints reskins of weapons that had non-functional cosmetic attachments on them which i think would be cool to just make it look as tactical as possible even if there's no function so let me know what you think of that let me know new weapons you want to see new blueprints um also be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you're liking the content stay tuned for a season two giveaway we'll be doing season one is extended till february 11th so when we get closer to season two i will be doing the giveaway again so stay tuned for details on that to win a 35 dollars gift card to your console of choice so you can go ahead and enter in and purchase season two for call of duty modern warfare also be sure to follow me on twitter instagram those links are down below as well as twitch and we'll be live streaming over there as well as here on youtube so if you want to stay in the loop get a hold of me those are your options to do so and i'm gonna leave you guys that's all i have today we'll probably come back with a part two for this video because i know there's plenty of weapons that everyone wants to see and i'd like to see out of the game but i think this is a really good start and something that's definitely feasible with the gunsmith and the conversions they have a lot of options to to make allow us to make a multitude of different weapons so this would be really cool to see let me know what you guys think down below and until next time buffner gaming out